Hi, Nancy Burt Priest here with another stamping card to share with you. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Here's my email, my website, my October host code, Facebook business page, YouTube channel, and of course my Pinterest. And if you are on YouTube and you like to stamp, share um, my website with other people. I would love to um, have them join my website as well as my YouTube channel. So today we're going to be doing a fun fold card. I think her name is Stamping with Tammy. She didn't have any directions, but she had a card that opened the way this one does. And it was with a different stamp set and different DSP, but I thought it was really neat. So I decided, well, I have to make one. Um, a friend challenged me, one of my customer friends, and she's like, um, she's a customer, but she's mainly a friend. She goes, I bet we could try this as an unusual fold. So we are. We are going to use the Bows of Holly stamp collection on page 24 and 25 of your um, mini catalog. We're mainly going to use the DSP, the Leaves of Holly stamp set, and the Holly Berry dies. Um, I'm going to do more with this stamp set because I just love it. It's one of my favorites in the catalog. So how do we begin this card? We start with an eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter. Then I took some of that beautiful DSP and I adhered it. It's four by five and a quarter. I adhered it to the front and cut this out with the die. Then I took some pear pizzazz and cut out the die and stamped Christmas wishes. So that part is relatively easy. I'll put that aside and, and share with you the next part. So then I had to figure out the dimensions of the inside pullout part. So I wanted it to fit so it was inside the card like it normally is. So this, um, the card base is five and a half. So this is five and a quarter wide. And it is normally, a card is eight and a half, and this is eight and a quarter inch wide. So that meant I had to score it at four and an eighth, and two and one sixteenth. Um, those are not measurements we usually do, and I wouldn't recommend them, but it works. So when you fold this up, you have this neat little fold. So let me show you, we've got this far on the card. I've adhered the DSP, I cut that out. I'm going to put, I did pre-stamp this, from our home to yours, and I can see my green needs a little re-inking after my um, stamping last night. Uh, um, I had a class last night, so you can see that it got well used. Um, and I'm gonna adhere just this back part to the card base, making sure it all fits within here, and it's not crooked. It's always my problem online. Okay, then um, your two pieces of DSP, I'm just going to check myself. Yep, they are five inches by one and seven eighths. And I, you know, the one I originally saw left this blank, but I thought this is such beautiful designer series paper. We are going to um, add that in here. for both of them. And you could add a little bit more on the top, but I wanted to give you a little bit of space to write up here. Um, and then close this up and you're going to put some adhesive, make sure I got that going, on the inside here and have that so I've got it right in place. So when I open it, it's in the exact place. Isn't that clever and easy? Oh my goodness. Now I have some of the gold shimmer ribbon 
from the annual catalog. And all I did is tie a knot in it. Just tie a knot and just kind of, I call it futzing, whatever, you know, just kind of pull it a little bit. Then I used, we have some Sizzix um, in the back of our annual catalog. This might be one of the older ones that says Sizzix on it, but in the back of our catalog, if I can find it super quick, we have um, some adhesive sheets. That's masking paper, which I'll show you how to use that at some point too. But I'm trying to find our adhesive sheets. There's so much in this catalog. Every time I look at it, I find something different, you know? Um, well, if I can't find it, I'll put a link. Um, but the adhesive sheets allow you to um, put that adhesive sheet on the back of your cardstock. Here it is. Adhesive sheets are number six, and they're $11, and you get 12 sheets by six by 12. And they used to say Sizzix, now they're just plain in the back. But when you pull it off, it's like making your, um, your die a sticker. So once you get this pulled off, which is always the tricky part, I just trim my fingernails so you never know how long that's going to take. You could use your take the pick, take your pick tool. I'm just going to keep picking on this and seeing if I can get it. I think I can. And when you take this off, it usually pops all the inside stuff off. Sometimes it doesn't. You might have to pop one or two off. But most of it comes right off with it. So now I'll do a little bit more on this one. Picking that off. Oh, it came right off. That's the part we don't need. Awesome. And then what I'm going to do, this is all sticky, except for that little part. Get that. So this is all sticky. It's like a sticker. It's ready to go on. I often use that in my classes when we're doing something like this where it's harder to adhere some glue to it. Um, so that is how you do that. You actually have your green and you put your adhesive sheet right on the bottom of it and run it through the big shot and now you've got a sticker and that is so cool. Now I'm going to use a glue dot. I'm going to put my thing right on the glue dot to pick it up. These are our mini glue dots, and of course it's not going to pick it up. There we go. I'm just going to put that there. And then I often have scissors I keep separate, and I call these my ribbon scissors. Um, and you know because I have a ribbon on them. Isn't that clever? I didn't come up with it. My friend Sally did. Um, and she may have heard it from somebody else. I'm not sure. Um, and that just gives you a nice pair of scissors. And there you go. Isn't that the easiest card? But it's a real wow factor when you open it up and you have that cool little saying. So I hope you liked our fun fold today. Um, and I look forward to continuing to um, provide some fun inspiration. Once again, if you don't have a demonstrator, I would love to be yours. Um, and I hope that you are passing around my YouTube channel. I'm trying to get a thousand people on it, but we'll see. I got a ways to go. Um, so I hope you have a great day and thanks so much for watching.